A system is being promised that is easy to build, generates electricity for everyone at home, without fuel, without solar energy, wind, or hydropower. Simply start it up and generate electricity for free. While this sounds like an obvious scam to many people, it actually fascinates millions of people worldwide. The Magnetic Motor A system that is supposed to be easily built at home if you order a kit for just $100 or a book for $30. And yes, the experiments really do look promising. In this video, we will see if it really works. We have analyzed the physics behind the magnetic motor. As the name suggests, the magnetic motor is based on the attractive and repulsive forces of magnets. By using magnets, proper shielding or displacement of forces, and the right arrangement, a self-sustaining circular motion should be possible, and that without the supply of external energy. The idea behind it is actually really ingenious because by now even weapons of the US military use magnetism. Metallic objects can be accelerated, the keyword is railgun. However, electricity is often used for this, but it can also work without it, as we can see here. If you arrange the magnets in a V-shape, they push this metallic roller forward. This is really no trick. Anyone can try this at home with magnets. And that's exactly what we're exploiting here. We could build a really long V to move the roller as far as possible. But unfortunately, this movement will eventually come to an end. However, there is a solution for this, which even involves us in building a magnetic motor. In this system, one simply builds a circle or a roll with the V. The V ends when building a roll. Theoretically, at the beginning, one could wrap several fists around this roll. Energetically speaking, it's essentially the same. So while the system is being pulled through the V in any form, it is accelerated. But what happens at the transition when the end of the house is reached? Well, that's where things get tricky. We call this a sticky point. It is a stable state of the system where it can come to a stop. The energy release in the form of movement over the V is exactly the same as that needed to return to the starting position. However, if we give the magnet motor a push, it will theoretically rotate endlessly without frictional losses. The two energy balances cancel each other out and all that remains is the initial push, which lets the system rotate indefinitely, allowing us to generate electricity. However, this is the fundamental misunderstanding of this design. Movement alone is not enough to generate a constant supply of electricity. A generator is always a type of resistance that slows down the movement. If we use a coil to generate and extract electricity, we are actually taking away the system's kinetic energy. We are slowing down the system until it no longer has enough energy to overcome the sticky point, causing it to eventually come to a stop. Essentially, at this point the magnet motor is no different from a normal gyroscope. No one would think that just because a low friction surface doesn't affect the rotation much endless energy can be obtained through this rotation. Therefore, we need an acceleration that somehow counteracts this deceleration. In short, the system needs additional energy input. What if we activate the magnets during the movement of the roller, but deactivate them just before the sticky point, that is, when we re-enter the V? This can be achieved, for example, with an electromagnet. It can be turned on and off as needed. When turned on, a magnetic field is present, and when turned off, there is none. But not only that, we can also shield magnets. If magnets only push and not pull, there is no problem in this regard. And in the current state of our knowledge, there is simply no such thing as a magnetic monopole in this form. It is actually only a theoretical construct. And what about the electromagnet? Or if we turn the magnet at the right moment, well, we can somehow neutralize the sticky point that way. But we are again adding energy to the system from the outside. The energy we expend for this is exactly the same as the net gain we supposedly want to achieve. But suppose for a second that all of physics and we are mistaken. In that case, a following that experiment would be really entertaining. As we discovered before, if the magnetic motor were actually feasible, it would always accelerate on its own, at least in the absence of a generator to counterbalance this acceleration. In a few minutes, we could bring a wheel if it withstands these centrifugal forces to a speed of 6,200 miles per hour. At around 90% of the speed of light, there would be a truly spectacular event. According to Randall Munro, any contact between the engine and the air at this speed would release gamma radiation and particles, causing the components of molecules and atoms to be torn apart. Electrons would fly around separate from their nuclei, and the magnetic engine would create a bubble of glowing plasma around itself. The enormous amount of energy involved is difficult to imagine, but ultimately, it would result in a gigantic explosion spanning several football fields. If this were physically possible, no state would threaten others with nuclear warheads but with magnetic engines instead. One would occasionally hear about crazy people accidentally destroying entire cities in their garages simply by trying something they found on the internet. So why are there thousands of videos on the web showing supposed magnetic engines that have been viewed millions of times? Some people may be doing it for fun, but there is also a calculated scheme to make money. This scheme plays on the currently widespread mistrust of science, society, and the government. It also takes advantage of people who are in desperate need of cheap electricity to make ends meet. 
Investing in a book that promises never to have to buy electricity from the supplier again sounds like a great way to save money. Many people think there might be something to it and fall for these and other scams. This includes people with solid scientific knowledge. The magnetic engine is the perfect utopia that sounds incredibly scientific, but simply isn't. If you really want free, cost-effective energy, you should go for solar cells. While the system doesn't simply generate energy without intervention and needs sunlight, it does exist in reality. In the future, with perovskite technology and new printing methods, the cost of producing one square meter of solar cells could fall to just a few euros. This could make photovoltaics affordable for everyone. We really appreciate your support of our channel and thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. If you enjoyed this content, please show your support by leaving us a like, sharing the video, and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to ring the bell to stay up to date with all the latest developments in EVs and green technology. Once again, thank you for your support, and we hope to see you again soon.